full of stress? Does your job keep you up at night? Is your relationship making you crazy? Chances are the things that fill your life with angst aren't going away anytime soon. But there is something you can do to feel better, and it doesn't involve pills. Dr. Milady Murphy is here from Shelton State's Health and Wellness Center to tell us more. Dr. Murphy, it's good to see you again. Always good to see you. You know, Daniel, 9.5 million Americans suffer from some form of depression mm. that's brought on by lifestyle, mm. stress, anxiety. The good news is, and I've looked at the research, since the 1900s, there have been documented evidence about the benefits of exercise in helping people deal with anxiety and stress. More recently, focusing on not only mildly depression or mm -hmm. mild depression, but severe depression. And studies have now shown that exercise can be one of the beneficial, beneficial tools in dealing with and helping people cope with depression as well as anxiety and stress. Now, when we're talking about mild depression and heavy depression, I, I envision, you know, mild depression is, uh, I don't want to go to work today. I don't want to hang out with anybody. Right. Heavy depression would be like, I want to kill myself. Close right? to it. Close to it that can lead to it. You know, okay. First, and when we discuss this today with our, our health class, you know, first of all, I do want to say this. When you find that no matter what coping technique you're using mm -hmm. doesn't seem to alleviate that feeling, right. get professional help. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, the, the, the research is showing that one of the coping techniques in helping people deal with depression, whether mild or severe, is exercise. Mm -hmm. And it can be used by itself or it can be used with medical intervention. The reason being, and we can share a little biochemistry with our, with our folks out there. Oh boy, <laughs> I love the chemistry. <laughs> well, what, what we're finding out, what, no matter the type of depression you have or anxiety, that when you engage in physical activity, mm. whether it's heavy, mild, or just physical activity that involves diaphragmatic breathing, you start to alternate that brain chemistry by releasing what is called serotonin, mm -hmm. dopamine, ad adrenaline, and beta endorphins. Mm. Some of the same type of feel-good chemicals that are in prescription drugs that help us deal with depression, anxiety, and stress. Without the side effects, though, with exercise. And so what the research is now showing that People can either use medical intervention with, with pharmaceuticals right. that are recommended by their doctor, mm -hmm. combined with exercise to get the results significantly, or they can use first exercise as the first line of intervention, and then if they need something a little bit more to complement what the progress is being done with exercise and medication. One other thing that they found in these studies, just one other thing to show <laughs> the power fine, of you're exercise, fine. is that those individuals that did exercise either alone or with medication mm -hmm. had less falling back of bouts of depression. They felt better. That the results were uh, progressive mm -hmm. and they moved forward and they felt better and it was more long lasting the, the, when the, they did the exercise, whether they did the exercise with the medication right. or exercise alone. That they felt better and it was progress in their mood. Absolutely. And their overall outlook on their sense of well-being. Absolutely. Now I want very you to do powerful. me a favor. You said something very interesting. You said the diaphragmatic breathing is part of this. Right. I would just be interested to know if people that sing a lot, because you use your diaphragm when you sing, right. if that also creates the, that, the, the serotonin and the chemicals and that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Will you, will you, do, will you check into that? I will me? check into that, but I can already tell you what, what, the, what the hypothesis is going to be. It's going to be in the favor of that. But I will look at specific research that deals with that just for you. Oh, thank you so much, Dr. Murphy. I appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Yes, ma'am. You can find out more about the Health and Wellness Center online at sheltonstate.edu or by calling 205-391-2994. Your credit...